With all seriousness, bravo, bravo, you Jesuit. <laughs> oh boy, seriously, look at me. I'm tired. I got to go to work tomorrow. I'm supposed to be in bed right now because I, I work for a living. Bravo. <laughs> Ooh, bravo. <laughs> oh, wow. Praise the Lord. And uh, I'm going to mention a name here. Oh, not your name. But uh, I'm going to mention the name of a sweet, tender, beloved young brother who I love very much. One whom you despise, Jesuit. My beloved, sweet brother Aaron. <sighs> wow. I I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I really am. See, because I've studied your order and I have. I've studied your order. You know that. But wow. Brethren, when you encounter a actual real life Jesuit, it's pretty amazing. You want to know what the Lord showed me? through real, saved, born-again, King James Bible-believing Christians. Jonestown. Don't drink that Kool-Aid. <laughs> Again. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. You're going to hell. And as a Jesuit who knows what the truth is, just like your brothers, especially everybody's favorite YouTube Jesuit and mine, your brother, um, you as he are going to help. Kind of, you know, because you know that I'm a very soft-hearted man. And, again, bravo. I am very gullible. And I am very naive. <sighs> oh, wow. But I want to thank you. Seriously. Look at me, Jesuit. Look at me. Thank you. 
You have taught me a very, very good lesson. And I ain't gonna forget it. As your brother Jesuit did with Brian Denlinger, um, you're going to now try to do to me for some reason. Because when I made those two videos saying that, yeah, a Jesuit like yourself who did confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, but you're as lost as a blind man running a race. That's why you are so offended. Because you're trying to defend yourself. <laughs> That's what it's about. Oh, it's not about this with you, Jesuit. No. And those, the brethren, who will see this, who you attacked, they all know who I'm talking about. And of course, so do you, because you are very self-absorbed. You vile, evil, wicked Jesuit. You know that quote by Vladimir Lenin? Call the enemy what you are and always speak the opposite of the truth. <laughs> you you, you want to know what really gave it away? Micah. I should have known. <laughs> bravo, bravo. I'm in, I am impressed. I am impressed. I really am. You were banking on my gullibleness because I actually care about people. <laughs> Micah. Chapter 7. <laughs> Bravo. 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 Seriously. Bravo. Micah. Chapter 7. Go there. In the King James Bible, the real Bible. Micah chapter 7. <laughs> I should have seen it, but I didn't. Oh, you, you are very... Here, let me... You're a very intelligent man. You are a very intelligent man. And you're going to hell. Micah chapter 7. I should have seen this. But now I do. And I'm wondering now. For some reason Jonestown comes into mind about the Kool-Aid. Micah chapter 7, verses 5 and 6. <laughs> Trust ye not in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a guide. 
Keep the doors of thy mouth from her, Mystery Babylon, your master. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. The son dishonoreth the father. The daughter riseth up against her mother. The daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Bravo. Bravo. And now you are going to make video after video after video to overwrite the algorithms of YouTube. Just like your brother Jesuit did against Brian Denlinger. <laughs> oh, brethren, those of you who are subscribed to my Little Nothing channel, take heed. You watch. This Jesuit is on the attack because he can confess, and he did. He passed the test, which is not a smoking gun proof test to prove someone's salvation. And I confess that, and I was in error for ever thinking that. And that's what set you off, because you had an in. You had an in. <laughs> but you can only fake it for so long. And Mr. Air Apparent, have a lot of fun with this one. I'm sure you will. The thing about you, Air Apparent, you know who you are. Um, when the, when your brother Jesuit, you know, everybody's favorite YouTube Jesuit, when he's gone, I call you the heir apparent because you're going to assume the mantle that he has left behind. That's why I call you the heir apparent. And this is going to be a short video. I dare you to play the whole thing. Not the manipulation of you setting them up play five seconds, and then you interject your other things as far as manipulation is concerned. You're very good at it. You are. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesuit. Thank you. The Lord Jesus Christ, my God and Father, rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. You can do whatever you want. But you're going to be standing at the great white throne. And I think you know that too. And brethren who see this, let me leave you with something from the, the Jesuit oath. The um, extreme oath of induction. My son, heretofore you have been taught to act the dissembler among Roman Catholics to be a Roman Catholic and to be a spy even among your own brethren, to believe no man, to trust no man, among the reformers to be a reformer among the Huguenots, to be a Huguenot, among the Calvinists, to be a Calvinist, among other Pro Protestants, generally, generally, to be a Protestant, and obtaining, <laughs> oh, I'm sure you are pretty proud of yourself, ain't you? 
and obtaining their confidence to seek even to preach from their pulpits and to denounce with all the vehemence in your nature our holy religion. See, the one thing that a Jesuit will not do will get into great detail. I'm just sick of talking about the Jesuits. I don't want to talk about them. I should have known it. I should have seen it. That's my fault. I should have seen it. You're good. I'm sure you make your father Satan very happy. Oh, I'm sure I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. Uh, big part. To seek even to preach from their pulpits and to denounce with all the vehemence in your nature our holy religion and the Pope, and even to descend so low as to become as to become a Jew <laughs> among Jews. <laughs> oh, you're very good. You're very good. Oh, you gave me an education there, boy. That you might be enabled to gather together all information for the benefit of your order as a faithful soldier of the Pope. You have been taught to insidiously plant the seeds of jealousy and hatred between communities, provenances, states that were at peace and incite them to deeds of blood involving them in war with each other oh you're really good <laughs> and to create revolutions and civil wars in countries that were independent and prosperous cultivating the arts and the sciences, and enjoying the blessings of peace, to take sides with the combatants, and to act secretly with your brother Jesuits, with your brother Jesuit, excuse me, who might be engaged on the other side, but openly opposed to that which with which you might be connected, only that the church might be the gainer in the end, in the condition, conditions fixed in the treaties for peace, and that the end justifies the means. <laughs> you have been taught your duty as a spy to gather all statistics, facts, and information in your power from every source to ingratiate yourself into the confidence of the family circle of Protestants and heretics of every class and character. Oh, you're very good. You are. You are a very good Jesuit. You really are. You really are. You heartless, soulless devil. Bravo. Bravo. As well as that of the merchant, the banker, the lawyer, among the schools and universities and parliaments and legislatures and the judiciaries and councils of state, and to be all things to all men, for the Pope's sake, whose servants we are unto death. You have received all your instructions heretofore as a novice, a neophyte, and have served as coadjutor, confessor, and priest. But you have not yet been invested with all that is necessary to command in the army of Loyola in the service of the Pope. I don't know if that's you. You must serve the proper time as the instrument and executioner 
as directed by your superiors. For none can command here, for none can command here who has not consecrated his labors with the blood of the heretic. For without the shedding of blood, no man can be saved. Therefore, to fit yourself for your, for your work and make your own salvation sure, you will, in addition to your former oath of obedience, to your order and allegiance to the Pope, repeat after me. And we won't get into that because you already know it. Bravo. 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 I told you before that I will fight back. I am going to attack your order like I have not before, heretofore. As several of the brethren have kind of reminded me that I need to get back on track and not get sidetracked by your Jesuitical uh, tactics, which I knew, but they were right under my nose, and you banked on my gullibleness and my naivety. <laughs> From here on out, I'm going to attack your order. I'm going to attack your order. How do you sleep at night? That's right, you don't really, do you? <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. What do you get when you remove the arms and legs of somebody and throw them into the river or into the water? What do you call them? Bob. Bravo. 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 You're really good. <laughs> You're really good. Sleep tight, old man. Bye-bye. <laughs>